Well, it's nice to see you for once, huh? Stevia is actually on time, not a minute late or something. What's up, everybody? Good morning. Welcome to the stream, January 23rd, 2020. This is a big day in Forza. This is a big day in Forza. Hello there, Sintral. Hello there, Luliana. Good morning, Sintral. Hello there, Nathan Chapman. Welcome back. I am doing fantastic. What's up there, Jaden? Hello there, Solace One for One. Yo, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. You guys want to see what we're doing? So here's the plan. I already got the plan laid out. We're going to be among the first to legitimately unlock the Lamborghini Hurricane, Huracan, however you want to say it, Performante in Forza Horizon 4. So we're at 24%. We need 50%. How did we get to 24%? You guys should know this by now. Online Adventure, 18%. Monthly Rival, 6%. That can be done in summer, so hopefully everybody pretty much is at that point. I know online adventure is tricky for some people, but literally all we're going to have to do to get to 50% is the PR stunts. 7% a pop, I'm going to say. I already know where they're located. I'll show you them in a second exactly where they are. And then we're going to end off with the weekly Forza-thon. I think that will be the next quickest thing to do because none of it's online racing with multiple champions, championships and everything. We should be able to bang out that weekly Forzathon, but the PR stunts, Arthur Seat, Danger Sign, Glen Ranosh, Speed Zone, and then the Oakwood Crest Speed Trap. I think I said that right. So real quick, we're already at, and hopefully I didn't guess wrong on some of these, but the Glen Ranosh Speed Zone is right here, so that's why I'm right here ready to go. We have three minutes and 30 seconds. I can't believe this day came already. Like, people are all going crazy about this performante and they're all time glitching and doing stupid crap to get it early a lot of them probably ended up getting banned and here we are we're ready to go we're about to get the performante then it's the arthur seat danger sign so that should be that one right there 600 feet very easy and then finally it should be the oakwood crest speed trap another very easy one so the three pr stunts we should be able to bang out in like i'm hoping two minutes with fast traveling loading times and everything hello there aaron sims and then the weekly fours i thought it'll take us a good you know 10 minutes 15 minutes whatever but definitely the next quickest thing i think and we will be a little bit over 50 percent to get the lamborghini uric uricon hurricane How, however you guys want to say it i always have people tell me different things but i like to say uricon because from what i've been told the h should be silent the correct actual pronunciation so it's like Ooh, you know, the U kind of, the Uracon. Other people say Hurricane, I don't care, I don't judge people, but people always are like, Ah, Stevia, that's not how you say it. You're saying it, you know what, dude, whatever. You can correct me if you want to, totally cool with that, but hey. Let's all have fun here, let's all say it the way we want to say it, right? But we're starting right here at Glen, or Glen Ranash. Two minutes. Two minutes, boys. Two minutes. Yo, I just had a bowl of cereal. I wanted to have eggs, but I was like, if I make eggs, I'm probably going to be a little bit late for my stream or be eating during the beginning of my stream like I did the other time, and I did not want to do that. Uh, actually, no, I have a new name for it. I didn't get to say this yet, but I guess I can say it now. We're going to call it the Pew Pew Monte. Not the Performante. The Pew Pew Monte. Yeah, yeah, that's the new name for it. That's what it's going to be called. And by the way, if I end up loving this car... I think I need a 25k paint job for it. And yeah, I figured you are Reaper. The only thing is, you know what the annoying thing is, is that we can't just go right to like doing these PR stunts and stuff. And that's not fair, man. You just stole, you're probably stealing my strategy. You're probably all set up and ready to go. But Javier is back. Welcome back, Javier. Great time to be back. Damn. Welcome back. I got my other moderator. Now we got three moderators here. So you, uh, you people in that chat, you better cooperate. <laughs> but, uh, it's just annoying that we have to wait for like the whole introduction to autumn when the season change over and then Kiara yells at you about all the new events and everything like just let me go play man I don't need to see that I know what's going on we know what's going on but nobody's joining me right now I want to get all this done as quick as possible but once I unlock the performante yes everybody will be able to join me we'll be racing online together we'll be tuning it building it checking it out seeing what the performante is all about in this game but, uh, yo, BMW, get out of here. Don't be messing with my timing here. I got people I'm racing against. Don't you be doing that. I gotta make sure I stay right in the middle of the lane. Right in the middle of the lane. 
But damn, Javi, well, I'm glad you went on a little vacation. I hope everything's okay at home, too, because I know how it is over there in Australia. I feel for all my Australian friends, man. Like, I've seen some of the stuff, like, the water is brown because of the rain and just all the ash and smoke or whatever. Dude, it's insane what's going on, honestly. But five seconds. Five seconds, everybody. Here we go. Autumn. Autumn is here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Total winnings minus 922 million. Did you guys see that? When, since when did my money go negative? <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, look at that. It's showing it again. Yeah, I'm a little bit scared. Did they take all my money away or something? No, they couldn't have. They couldn't have. All right, come on, Forza. Come on, Forza. And Corviz, yes, I read the chat as much as I always can. All right, cool. We know what we're doing. Just show me these things. New events are up. Yep, there's the Arthur's Seat Danger sign. There's the Glen Rannot Speed Zone. That should show the speed trap at the bottom. I think I got it right. Yes, I did, baby. Yes, I did, baby. Whatever. Come on. Let's go, baby. I'm gonna beat you, Reaper. I'm gonna beat you. Oh, no, no, no! I don't got time for messing up. I don't got time for messing up. Tell me I beat it. 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 Ooh, a new personal best. Yeah, we definitely beat that. Let me just see it pop up. I gotta see it pop up. I gotta show it pop up. There we go. On to the Arthur Seat Danger Sign. Let's keep it rolling. Where is she? Where is she? Right here. Right here. Come on, Reaper. I'm definitely ahead of you right now. I'm definitely ahead of you right now. <laughs> Yo, who else is at home right now and locking the Performante? And who's actually not at home and just watching from school or work or something like that? I feel for you guys if you gotta wait. I really do. Crap, work. Why is it gotta do this to me? Why is it gotta do this to me? Hurry! Hurry! We must be among the first. Steady, steady, 600 feet, 600 feet, 600 feet, come on, land it, land it, boom, boom, that's done, let me just see it pop up, I gotta see it pop up, there we go, there we go, now down to the speed trap, right on down to the speed trap, all we gotta do is three star this speed trap and then we're on to Forzathon Weekly. Forzathon Weekly. I'm excited for Forzathon Weekly. I'm going to show you guys how to do Forzathon Weekly real nice and quick. All right, come on, Koenigsegg. Let's go, baby. Yeah, look at all these people doing the speed trap. Everybody's going for it. Everybody's going for it. All right, that should be done. Let me just see it pop up. There it is. Yep, we're good. All right, now it's time to get into a track toy for the weekly Forzathon. Time to get into that good old track toy. So we're going to be getting into the Porsche pre-order. And you guys are going to see exactly why here in a second. And we will take a look at the Forzathon shop once I unlock that Performante. Right after I unlock the Performante, we will take a look at that Forzathon shop. Don't you worry. So chapter one... Literally just to drive a track to wake come on, pop up, pop up, pop up, pop up. Forza, I don't got time for this. I don't got no time for this. Forza, that's great. There we go. Fist bump. Then you can see 12 star speed zones, 1 million skill score, and 3 road circuit event wins. So, the speed zone that I'm going to do is the one that I always like to do for this. All the way over here. So I got to fast travel. We got to hurry. Hurry, people, Hurry. Update needed. What do you mean, Exotic? What are you talking about for the Forzathon shop? Nobody say what's in the Forzathon shop, please. I do not want to know. Please, 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 please do not say. I don't want to know. I want to see for myself. All right, three stars. Here we go. We got to go back and forth like four times. <laughs> I think the three star goal for this is like 105, so that should be three stars. Now we're right back the other way, two times in each direction.
All right, there's six. Yo, Reaper, where you at, bro? Where you at, Reaper? You're probably sweating right now. I've been nailing this stuff so far. You're gonna be like, I'm done. I already got it. You're gonna be like, really, bro? Really, bro? Can you give me a chance? No, 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 no! No! I missed it! No! Uh-oh. Now I screwed myself over. No! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I gotta remember it's autumn, too. I was just testing this car in summertime. No, we wasted three seconds! <laughs> we wasted time, boys, no! I can't believe I did that. I can't believe I did that. I screwed it up. I screwed it up. All right, there we go. Now I completely lost track. Was that three or was that four? I think that was only three for some reason. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we're done already. Nope, we're done. That's it. Mic drop. All right, one million skill score. Oh, I just saw one of the cars that's in the Forzathon shop. The Maserati Levante. So for the one million skill score, we're going to switch to a seven times multiplier track toy, which there's only a couple. One of them happens to be the 2012 911 GT2 RS. So we're going to hop right into that. Oh, we're grinding. We're grinding real good. So now you guys know where we're going. You guys should know. If you've seen any of my Forzathon videos ever, you know that my favorite spot to do these is over at the airstrip, which is right here. So we're going to fast travel here. We're going to get 143,000 skill score times our seven times multiplier. That will be the 1 million skill score. Now keep in mind, obviously, if you get skill songs, it can be quicker, which I think Reaper is going to have an advantage there because I cannot play the music on my stream, unfortunately, so I'm not going to do that. My radio always has to be off when I'm on YouTube streaming, at least, so YouTube doesn't yell at me and give me copyright claims. I know, it's stupid, right? But it is what it is. We're still going to nail this out real quick, and then we got to win three circuit races. Which I'm going to hop probably back into my Porsche Pre- Eh, it doesn't really matter. I'll probably just stay in this car. Alright, Javier. Sounds good, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. Really hope that everything's going well for you over there. See, so yeah, I literally, though, just drift around here. Skirt around, hit into things, get record skills, and you'll see my multiplier is at 7 already. And we are so close to tasting the Pupumante. We are so close, everybody. It better not be a disappointment. Like, this thing better be a top tier, either S1 or S2 or both race car. Like, this thing better be very useful, better have a good car mastery. It better be spectacular. I will say one thing I know already. It sounds the same as the regular Uwerkin. Hurricane, Hurricane, whatever, however you want to say it. So I'll throw that out there now for anyone wondering. Alright, we're just about halfway to what we need. Again, 143,000 times 7. So make sure you have all your perks on from the car mastery. That's huge. I didn't show that because I'm trying to get this done ASAP. But you guys should know that. By the way, I did all-wheel drive swap this car too, just so it could handle the off-roads without spinning out and stuff, because that just slows you down way too much and wastes way too much time. This is a really nice car, by the way. I've never driven this before, I don't think. Definitely want to make an S1 build, and thank God the train is over there right now and not when I'm about to go through there so I don't get smacked and lose my skill chain. Even though I do have the perk on to crash one, so I do have that. All right, about 100,000. We're at about 100,000. I hope Reaper didn't get a skill song. I hope it did. I hope one didn't play. Because <laughs> if he got that, I mean, I'm done. That's like a 12 multiplier you get from the skill songs, I'm pretty sure. Hey, 
Come on, 30,000 more, 30,000 more. They need to stop with these fours upon weekly challenges, though, man. Like, people do not like this challenge, the million. And, you, dude, you, we, used to, we had to get seven million one time or eight million or something like that. That was what fours upon weekly used to be. Isn't that insane? Like, I couldn't even remember that. I didn't even remember that. I saw it the other day, though. I was like, damn, I don't miss that. That's absurd. <laughs> All right, we're so close. 143,000, remember, that is the goal. We should be just about done. We should be just about there. Yep. We're good. We are good. That's enough. Forza, please. That's enough. It's enough. Forza. Forza. Stop it. Stop it. No. Stop it. It's way too much. It's way too much now. <laughs> Hurry. We're trying to get the perform. There we go. There we go. Come on. Bank. 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 There we go. Parkour done. Now all we got to do is win three road circuit events, and we're going to blueprint that to one lap. So let's go to... Where should we go? A quick short race for sure. A quick short race. Uh, I hate that one, so we're just going to... Let's just do this one. Mm, actually, eh, yeah, whatever. Wait. Yeah, that probably is the shortest, honestly, this one. We'll go here. We'll run it. I'll probably just stay in this car. There's no reason to switch. We just gotta make sure it is one lap, but good morning there, James, and sorry guys that I have not been reading the chat, I'm just trying to blow through this as quick as possible. It's been 11 minutes since the Performante has become available, let's see if I can get in the first 15. The only thing is, I don't know if I have a one lap circuit, well, this one is, it doesn't say car class, so I should be able to use my current car. Yep, boom. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's get it. Look at that. We're moving right along. I don't think I'm going to be able to get it in 15 minutes, but I should be able to get it in 20 minutes. We're just going to rerun this race three times. Should take about two minutes per race with the race and loading screens involved and all that good stuff. But good morning, everybody. How is everyone? How is everyone on this fine Thursday morning? I always have trouble waking up on Thursday mornings. I don't know why. All right, let's get it. Let's go. No time to waste. No time to waste. But all right, uh, what is your name? German? I got you. I got you. Remember, we gotta win. We gotta win. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't even tune this car, I just built it. Feels pretty damn good, considering it's all-wheel drive, like the handling's actually pretty good. Hurry! Hurry! Two more! Two more! Yeah, it's gonna be so close to 15 minutes. Damn, it's gonna be so close. It's definitely gonna be 20 minutes, though. there's just no way. Reaper, where you at? Where you at? <laughs> oh, Jaden beat me, what the hell. Two events and the speed traps and jumps. What events did you do? What events could you have possibly done that quick? I need proof. I need proof. I'm gonna beat you. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Wait, crap. Did I pick the right race? Hold on. I don't know if I picked the one. No, we're good. We're good. It says one laugh. We're good. We good. I need to see proof, Jade, and I don't believe it. I really don't believe it. I know you don't have to do the weekly forwards -a but the thing is, the other championships, they're all, like, three races that you have to do. Like, every other event is a seasonal championship. 
And they're not one lap. <laughs> That's why I need proof. Like, how could someone have beaten me? It's impossible. <laughs> All right, two more. Stevie, you don't have no time for these Dravatars. No time for these Dravatars. Yo, for real though, I'm loving this car, man. The 2012 GT2 RS, this thing's fantastic. I can't wait to make an S1 rear-wheel drive build of this thing. I still need the Pista. Well, you know what? The Pista and the Uricon Performante, they're like rivals, so we might have to run them against each other. Stock versus stock. See who's better. All right, one more. One more, boys, and we will have the Lamborghini Performante. The day is here. The day has come. It's been a long, long time since I've heard people talking about this car. And it's finally coming to us here in Forza Horizon 4. I know some people don't care, and they're like, I'm just going to dislike this video because I don't care about the performante. I, I, I know that's going to happen during this stream. People are going to come here, they're going to be like, really? Nobody cares. I don't care about this thing. I don't want this thing. It's just a reskin and all this stuff. Like, come on, man. Give it a shot. It could be something special in this game. Yo, what's going on here? What just happened? I was going to say, like, why is it not... Hurry, hurry! This is the last race. This is the last race. Why do you gotta check car restrictions like this? We just did this twice. Like, come on, you know what's going on here, Forza. You know what's going on here. Yeah, I'm never selling my Pista. Hell no. I don't know how you were able to do six races before I was able to complete three PR stunts, the weekly challenge, and then these three circuit one lap races. That honestly makes absolutely no sense to me. Because <laughs> all those races you did were like either sprints or multi-lap circuits. I mean, I didn't think the Forzathon weekly took that long, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it took longer than I thought. Get out of here, Audi. Get out of here, Audi. All right, this is the one. As long as I don't screw up and miss a checkpoint, this is the one. Oh yeah, the Pista is fantastic. I actually built it for S1. I really like it for S1. You can go either drag or rally tires, drop it down in the class a little bit. No, like, bruh, like, I think it's literally impossible to have done all those races and everything within 15 minutes. <laughs> I think it's impossible. Like, you guys have seen me try and do that stuff on streams before, but that is it. And that is it. That should be it, at least. Unless something glitched. It has been 18 minutes since I started this stream, plus the loading screens when it shows you the autumn season. You literally had to have done that in like less than 15 minutes. All right, play time complete. That is it for the weekly Forzathon. And you know what that means, boys. You know what that means, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wow, I got a five number on my festival playlist now, but it took us less than 20 minutes, probably 15 minutes of actually playing the game, I have to say. And there she is, the pew pew, Monte baby. Let's go. Now it's time to test her out. Hey, nice Carlos, you're right behind me. There's the MT12 Forza edition for 50% series. Damn, we just unlocked two nice cars. And there we are at 59% completion percentage. So there we go, 51% for the series already. And the next thing we'll do real quick before we hop into the Performante is take a look at the Forzathon shop. So there you guys see it, the two new cars we just got. Now, what's, what's the other car? We saw the Levante. We saw the Maserati Levante, a pretty rare car. But what's next? What is next? 
Oh, what? Oh, you guys weren't kidding. Wow, that's some, that's some poopy right there. That's some legit poopy. <laughs> okay, well, forget that then. We're gonna go to the festival site and we're gonna take a look at this Lamborghini Performante. We definitely were among the first to unlock it, legitimately, within the first 20 minutes of it becoming available. Probably took about 15 minutes of actually playing with all the intro to autumn and loading screens and everything, but... Is this really not gonna work, though? Wow, I can't believe that. Forza, what the hell's going on? I wonder if they goofed up and put the wrong car in or something like that. But alright, here we go. Here we go, this better not be disappointing. I'm pretty excited right now. There she is, all-wheel drive S1 Legendary. It's a track toy, 10 acceleration, 10 launch, 8.5 handling, 9.1 braking, 7.8 speed, 630 horsepower, 442 torque. Look at that weight though, only 3,000 pounds. So we're definitely gonna have to compare that real quick to the stock Lamborghini Hurricane, which is right there. I love the orange, I can tell you that from the start. I love the orange. And yo, you guys are really slacking. I know I know that the performante is like beautiful, but you guys gotta remember to pew 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 that like button for your boy Stevio. Show your support, do not forget guys. Helps me out a ton. All you gotta do is pop that like button and that alone helps me out a ton on YouTube. But damn, look at this thing, yo. I love the Italian flag on the side. I love the rear wing. Now wait a minute, does... Can you move the wing? It should have, like, some type of active arrow, doesn't it? It's got to. doesn't look like it does, actually, looking at it closely. Wow, look at the details of the wing. Look at that. <laughs> wow. And the exhaust, too. I remember people, when they saw that picture of the exhaust, they knew right away that it was the Performante. Very unique exhaust. And I don't think, I, I don't know, do I even want to change the color? Like, the orange looks gorgeous. Orange looks absolutely gorgeous. Now, we definitely need to lower the car. That is an absolute must. The wheels are pretty nice stock. They're very interesting wheels. I'm sure that there's lighter wheels in this game, but let's just take a look, see what other paint options there are. That's what I'm saying. The stock orange is just beautiful. Ooh, there's actually paint groups. So what's the second paint group? Oh, it's the... Wait. No. No, can't be. Oh, yeah, it is. It's the bottom piece. Oh, so we can just paint that black. That's actually kind of cool. Or wait, no, that was black already. Alright, let's just take a look at the colors, then we'll figure that out. Wow, that is... That reminds me of the blue color for the regular Hurricane, but it's like the yellow version of it. I don't even know what to call that, like matte maybe? Bright yellow, yo, green looks pretty nice. Not gonna lie, green looks pretty good. That's similar to the Hurricane, the... 2014 I don't I think the other one was darker blue though that's an interesting like paint though black gray silvery that's a pretty nice color I don't know I think I don't think there's any question I think I might just have to leave orange on here I'm just trying to figure out I know it takes away the flag it also takes did you notice that it takes away performante on the side like why would you even want that to happen I'm actually worried about tinting the wind Yep, it's going to do that too. You can't even, dude, that's ridiculous. You can't paint the wheels or it takes off that vinyl. Bruh. Forza, why have we not figured this out yet? Like, look how good that looks with black wheels, but then it takes away that vinyl. Oh, that's so annoying, dude. That is so annoying. I think I have to paint the wheels black, though. They look so good black. Tint the windows black. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> that is nice. That is sexy. I'm For now, we're just going to leave it like this. I definitely want to get that vinyl and the performante back on there, because that's absurd. But we're going to leave it like that for now. The orange is beautiful. And unfortunately, no, you cannot. Oh, they don't have the purple color. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry. Oh, it's staying orange. You kidding me? It's my favorite color. It's my favorite color. So, let's see, though. What else we can do to this thing? Car mastery first. A bunch of wheel spins. I don't, is there not, is there really not even a, you can't even get to a six multiplier. What the hell, Forza? Well, there you go, three wheel spins. Nothing too special. 
Now let's take a look at the upgrades. Now we're not going to upgrade anything right now. And German, do you recommend getting the Xbox Live for the season online races? Because offline I got 60% for this week. 21% season. If I resume offline, I'll get the 80%. So for online, which is like the trial, playground games, online adventure, all that stuff, it adds up to a pretty significant amount. So I recommend getting Xbox Live like if you plan on using it a lot like if you're not going to you can always get these cars later like they always come back i have no idea what's going on with the forza thon shop i'm glad i decided to stream today before covering the forza thon shop but look at that angle right there and tell me this is not a sexy car this is like the sexiest car ever yo wait a minute forget upgrading right now let's get together for forza thon live let's get together for forza thon live baby you better have a performante you better have a performante Yo, why aren't the headlights on, yo? The headlights look so good, too. I'm pretty sure the bulbs in, on the inside of the headlights are a little bit different than the 2014. The front bumper is a little different. The rear bumper is different. Got the nice wing on there. She's a beaut. She is a beaut. But all right, if you guys want to join me, Fours the Thon Live time. I know a lot of you are probably not even available, but if you want to join me, now is the time. We'll get started here. Send me a message. Gamer tag is Stevio2175. We're going to be testing this thing out for a while today here. We're going to be testing it out for a while. This is literally the focus of the stream, by the way. Is that a slice of pizza you're sending me? I mean, I, I had breakfast already, but I appreciate it. <laughs> All right. So if anybody else wants to send me a message, just let me know. And then where is Forzathon Live? All the way over here. Right back where he did our skills. Let's see. Three minute drill. Can the performante go eight miles in three minutes? Let's see. Yeah, like I said, sounds exactly like the regular hurricane. So don't be expecting anything else. It's literally my first time driving it if you're new to the stream. Just want to throw that out there. She's feeling pretty nice. She's feeling pretty nice. Now it's bone stock S1 900. So top of the S1 class. It's all wheel drive. What I'm actually thinking is to maybe put rally tires on. Lower the class down a little bit. And then be able to actually upgrade some things to keep it in S1. Because it's already all wheel drive. I mean in, in S1 it's not super fast. It's not like the 812 super fast. You know what I mean? Like it's not that fast. So I think rally tires might be an option. We're going to test out a bunch of different things today. We're going to be racing online together a lot. We'll do some co-op. We'll do some 1v1v1v1v1v1s. We'll do all kinds of stuff. But she feels nice and god is she gorgeous. I love it. Honestly, I, oh crap. Almost didn't realize I had to turn there, but I love it so far, man. First impression, she is gorgeous. Look at that. Mmm. Yo, you guys better keep the orange. I think all we need to do is just, like, add my Stevia logo to the sides and we're good to go. Now, we can definitely figure something out. Like, the, the hood, or no, I'm sorry, the roof looks like there's some very good opportunities for some type of nice design. All right, come on, Performance. Come on, baby. We got to get to Forza Thon Live in time. This was the three-minute drill. Ooh, did I just hear an engine glitch? That sounded like an audio glitch. Yeah, she feels real good, though. I think it definitely has potential. I don't know what the potential is going to be because we have not looked at the build parts yet. But we're definitely going to start out by racing stock S1. That's my plan. I want to race stock S1, see how she does in some racing environments. Alright, we got less than a minute to go these two and a half miles here. Ooh, our first semi-crash. I think we're going to be late. I think we might actually be late. But it's fine. We'll still make it in time. Yo, yeah, well, crap, I gotta invite more people, too. A rut row. Right when I see 10 o'clock, I'll start inviting everybody else that sent me a message, because we got that three-minute window afterwards, so we're good. 
Did nobody get in my convoy yet that I invited? Doesn't say anybody's in my convoy. I saw that Oreo joined. And it is still 9.59. Yo, we're so... Oh, just hit 10 o'clock. I gotta say, not bad. Only a half mile out. Not too bad, Performante. Not too bad for a first run. Now right, let me just get within the pink. Then I'll invite you guys. Oh, I did too. I did too. I invited a couple people. Oh, gee. No, Forza. What the hell kind of shenanigans is this? No wonder nobody could join. Oh, jeez, Forza. Forza. What the heck, bruh? What the heck? I'm in the final elimination race, yeah. <laughs> wow, Forza, thanks for thanks for that. <laughs> After all my driving over here, eight miles, then they're like, oh, guess what? <laughs> You're gonna just get a disconnect. Sorry, bro. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you so much. And now we're not going to connect until 10.03. After I cannot get back into Forza Time Live. You just watch. You just watch. I have to stay here, though, because... Yeah, I can't invite anybody either. There we go. Wait, wait. I have a shot. We have a shot, boys. We have a shot. Make sure you guys all have sent me messages, because i got to blow through the messages, and then we got to get going. Wait, where's the Forza Time Live? Is it not here now? Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. What, there's no Forzathon live? Yo, what is going on right now? Wait, Oreo's with me. Yo, am I missing something? I can't- what? Oh my goodness, I can't do Forzathon live anymore. What, when you glitch out after the top of the hour, it just doesn't show up again? Yo, talk about beat. You're telling me I just did all that driving in that first test drive for nothing. Oh my. Oh, jeez, Forza. What the heck? <laughs> Hello there, Daniel. Welcome to the stream. Hello there, Farai. Okay, well. Back to the upgrade shop we go. Then we'll race online. So even if you sent me messages, regardless, you guys can get in here so we can race together afterwards. But we're going to do stock racing first. I just want to take a look at the upgrade shop to see what's available, see what is there. Oh, dude, I love the orange on this car. It is absolutely beautiful. So, car mastery, once again, nothing too crazy, but let's take a look. I promise you I'm not motor swapping, but 6.5 liter V12. And then the racing V12, which is lighter, more horsepower, but less torque. I mean, I'm sure people are going to do that. I'm not. We could rear-wheel drive swap. I promise you I won't be doing that either. Then we could twin turbo the car, which by the way, there's the stock stats, 0 to 100 in 5.4 seconds, that is actually massively impressive for S1, like stock S1, that's, that's good, top speed 200, this, this car could be something, it really could be something, it could also be something, wow, 215 horsepower from the supercharger, is, I, I do feel like this is going to be a car I'm going to want two of, one for S1 and one for S2. But Jacko, that's what I like to hear, man. That is what I like to hear. Let's take a look. Forza Aero. Probably will not be using that. I, if you put this on this car, guys, I really... I don't, I don't know if I can be friends with you. Like, how could you put that over that? I'm sorry, but please. You know, one interesting thing that I will say. It actually lowers the class 1 PI. It does lower the class 1 PI, but in terms of looks, I don't know what you'd be thinking. That just increases the class way too much. I don't think with enough benefit. Let's take a look. Is it stock race tires? Yes, it is. So I think we'll put those on just because I feel like that looks a little nicer. We can definitely go thicker with those tires. I don't... Oh, wow. So you can actually put thicker rear and it drops the class down. So that's pretty cool. Now, I like the stock wheels, but I do want to just see if there's anything lighter. Yes, there is. So there are lighter wheels, which that moves up one PI back to from where we started so those are actually kind of nice they would work they would work for the car they look pretty good but for now we're not going to switch the wheels we're going to keep the stocks you can only make the rear wheels bigger which i don't see why you would do that we can also increase the width which that pops us right back to s1900 as well but we're just taking a look we're just seeing what we can do 
We're not gonna save any of this right now. We're just taking a look. I wanna drive the car bone stock before we build. It's the best way to see what a car needs. So then we can put on the race clutch, reduces some weight, still keeps, now this right here is the biggest thing. Yes, we can actually lower the class with the race transmission. That is fantastic. Once again though, I do want to see what the car is like stock. So we can reduce some weight, 19 pounds. This thing's only 3,000 pounds. Like it's pretty light for what it is. Obviously we can put on the race differential, tune that a little bit if we want to. The car feels pretty good stock though. Now here's the thing though, race springs have to go on the car. I mean, that, that has to be a thing. I would definitely want to put on the front anti-roll bars. We'll probably just take off like the drive line and the clutch. We'll make this work. We're definitely going to make this work S1. I actually legitimately do not feel like we need to put on different tires either. Now we could even do that. You can add this. I mean, it adds a little bit of weight, sure. It might add a lot of grip to it. I don't know. That's something I don't usually like to put on, but to keep it within S1, it's possibly a thing. Weight reduction, how much does this take off? 517 pounds. Yeah, I definitely think that I'm going to want two of these. One for S1, one for S2. That's definitely going to be a thing. Definitely going to be a thing for Stevio. And then obviously all the engine upgrades. I don't think we really need to go too in-depth with this. We'll look at that later, but that reduces a good amount of weight right there. Add some power. Exhaust upgrades are always very good. Camshaft definitely adds a lot of power as well, so... I'm liking this. Stock motor S2, and then stock motor S1. I'm really liking this, so there we go. We kind of saw what's going on there. Again, we're going to go raise stock right now. We're going to go raise bone stock, and then we're going to take a look and upgrade this thing. Yeah, so actually that's another thing we can look at real quick, too. What can we tune without doing anything? What can we tune without upgrading anything. Obviously always tire pressure. So this is what I want to see, like the gear ratios. Like how do they feel? First, second, and third are pretty damn good, but realistically, I think fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh need to be reworked. And again, the race transmission actually lowers the class somehow. So I definitely think that that is the way to go. Uh, yeah, we definitely want to do this kind of stuff too. So the race springs have to go on there so we can change these things. That's a lot of negative camber. Probably more than necessary. Anti-roll bars, definitely want to have that on. We'll have the springs on there already so we can look at that. Same with the dampening. We're not going to have aero. Brakes you can already adjust. And we can put this on no matter what. So we'll see how it feels. We'll see how it feels. Honestly, if the D-cells are already at zero and the Excels are pretty low, I mean, that's not looking too bad. It's not looking too bad with the stock differential. But alright, let me invite you guys in, and I made sure to clear cars out of my garage today, because as you guys can see, I deleted four cars, and I was at 750. That was, it's a little bit scary this morning, it's a little bit scary this morning, but, alright, we got Oreo in here, and yeah, one PI, just one PI, Fernando, nothing crazy, but it does lower it one PI. So, sorry everybody that we couldn't get Forza-thon to happen, but hopefully you guys will want to join for some Performante racing. The Pew Pew Monte! God, it's so weird for me to say that like that, but I have to. I got to. I'm excited to test this thing out. I'm really excited. The 0 to 100 times are very impressive. So like I said, if, re if we rework... I can't talk. If we rework the bottom gears, or the top gears, I should say, I think this thing could be very competitive for S1. I think it could be massively competitive for S1. Top tier? Like, best in the game? Mm, I don't think so, but it's going to be very good. It's going to be very good, I think. Initial impression here. Initial impression. I could be totally wrong. Maybe it'll be slow. Maybe it'll suck, but... Lasagna Monte. <laughs> really? <laughs> hey, that's what I like to hear, Vic Viper. That's what I like to hear. Yeah, I usually don't stream at this time just because a lot of people are in school and at work and stuff like that, but when there's special occasions like the Performante coming into the game, you know that we got to. You know that we have to. Alright, so hopefully I'll be able to get pretty much everybody in. Again, gamer tag is Stevio2175. Yo, that's what I like to hear, Blake. That's what I like to hear, baby. <laughs> Those online classes coming in clutch. I'm playing at work. 
Uh. All right, we should have pretty close to a fo full convoy here. I don't think everybody joined that I invited yet. So if anyone else wants to get in, just keep sending me messages. We'll get you in here. We will get you in here. All right, well, I think we'll take it to my favorite track first. Let's see how it does on the high-speed cornering. But all right, Andre, I got you. I got you, and you had delay or Man, I don't even know how to say your name. I thought it said Delania or Delina or something at first, but Di... I guess that's Diana? Is that Diana Behan or something like that? Yeah, the Forzathon shop is glitched. And just to show you guys, because I know some of you are probably wondering about that and why I haven't really showed anything. Update needed. And probably not, Jake. Probably not tonight. So I don't know what's going on with the Forzathon shop. I'm thinking we're going to have to restart our games or something. But honestly, I'm really not worried about that because we have seven days left for that to be a thing. No rush with that at all. No rush with that at all. Alright, let me get you guys in here. So I think the way that we should do this is the first race we'll just do every man for themselves. Let's just see who can drive the Performante stock the best. Very first time out on the track. Now, don't tell me what's in the shop, but has anyone restarted their game? Okay, so German still has not been able to get in there. And yeah, it's definitely a glitch. Definitely a glitch. Like, there's no reason it should be doing that at all. But once everybody joins here, we're going to get this going. But hello there, Fizzle. Hello there, Antonio. Welcome to the stream, guys. We're almost at 100 likes already. Damn. Pew, pew, pew. Away, guys. Keep pewing away. And it looks like we got one spot left, so... Let me just take a look. Modern Warfare update. Oh my goodness. I should just uninstall that, dude. I should just uninstall that. I kind of... I'm pretty sure I bought that game digitally, man. I definitely should have not done that. I haven't played that game in a long time. <laughs> that game, man. That game really underwhelmed me when it actually came out. I had more fun in the beta. But my lobby's full now. So you're either in here or you're not. Yeah, my lobby's full, so... I, dude, I could not enjoy that game. I could not enjoy it. Everybody just camps everywhere. Alright, let me make sure we got this set up here. So, S1. Just do S1 track toys. Actually, I'll make it so if you don't have the car yet, because I feel like some people might not have the car. Let's do S1. Actually, you know what we'll do? We'll just make sure that everyone has to use it. Because even if you don't have it, you should be able to use it. So we'll just select the Performante. Performante Racing. And there'll be summertime, clear, teams are off, collisions are off, S1. Let's get it. Let's get it, squad. Somebody left. Why would you do that? Why would you leave? How could you do that? Alright, well, let's see how we do. In our first legitimate race in the Lamborghini Performante Bone Stock. The beautiful Uricon. The Uricon. I think the best angle is, like, that front angle where you kind of get the wing going across the back. You see those beautiful headlights. And the orange and black. Orange and black look so damn good. And Jack, you realize that I cannot uh, stream to everybody in the world standards, right? <laughs> People are in all kinds of time zones. Like, when I have the free time and when I can do different things, that's when I do it, bro. All right, three days later, hopefully we're actually going to be able to connect. You know, we're like two away, Fry, two away. I think this stream had like 36 likes or 32 likes or something before we even started. <laughs> People were ready for this one. All right, let's see how we do here. 
All I got is water this morning. I didn't feel like body armor is like a real thing or a good thing for this morning. I don't know why. I just don't think I can drink body armor first thing in the morning. Still have to mention body armor, of course, though. Hey, nice job, Fizzle. Nice job. Alright, everybody's in the performante. Now, who will love the performante the most? Who will be the best driver of the Lamborghini performante very first time? I hear you on that, Fry. It should at least have an, a unique exhaust tone. That's the only thing. Like, it should have a unique exhaust tone. And I think it's Horizon Life Saw. I mean, I, I don't, I don't drink it very often. That's the only one that I ever see that's like on sale. I think there's like a Target brand that I could get though. I might need to try that sometime. Your game's not loading, Andre. Damn, yo. Better figure that out. Yeah, I actually forgot to sell my original Hot Wheels Mustang because I definitely don't need two. And I was going through deleting cars today, and I was like, oh, I still have that there too. If anyone needs an Aston Martin pre-order or a Koenigsegg CC GT, just let me know. Maybe hit me up on Discord. I'll definitely hook you up with one with minimum buyout. Okay, definitely needs a little bit of a tune on the understeer. Definitely a little bit of understeer there. It doesn't feel like crispy smooth. It's not bad, don't get me wrong, but it could be better. Yeah, see, 7th gear is like way too slow though. Way too slow. Alright, stay in fifth around that turn. I thought I might need to go in the fourth. I gotta learn these gears. Alright, Reaper, remember, don't push too hard, bro. Don't miss a checkpoint or something, alright? I hit the wall, I clipped the wall, no! It was so clean until that one turn. Reaper, do you really think that that's gonna distract me? Do you really think that that's gonna distract me? Come on, bro! <laughs> And pra Prahith or Prahith, my streams are, I'm assuming you guys are talking about like my auction house streams. They're always probably Friday nights and Saturday nights. Like after we figure out what's going on at the Forzathon shop, I'm probably going to schedule those for tomorrow and for Saturday. But very good. Whoa, what? Wait a minute. What just happened here? <laughs> 10 second penalty. <laughs> I was going to say I definitely finished in front of you, but okay then. <laughs> You and me were way ahead of the pack, damn. Oh, oof, a DNF. <laughs> I mean, on my screen, I got first, but I do like that purple reefer. It looks really nice. Looks really good, brother. Yeah, I, I deserve that, though. I was, about, I was about to say that, too. I was like, damn, I hit the wall. I think I should just, like, slow down or something. <laughs> you were a lot more confident. I was, like, taking it easy, not sure, like, what gear to be in. How quick I could go around some of those turns. You were just flying. I saw you reeling me in. I was like, damn, this guy's really pushing his car hard the first run. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, man. Hey, good race, though. You beat me. You beat me straight up. I mean, it said it right there on the scoreboard. Not when we were actually out on the streets, but on the scoreboard. <laughs> But all right, let's do one more. We'll do one more stock race at a different racetrack. Let's do, let's do like a, a little bit tighter of a race. Let's do, hmm, let's do this one, Elms Don on Sea Sprint. We'll do one more stock race, then I'm going to go to the upgrade shop. We're going to buy one. Well, Reaper, that's what I figured. That like that's usually how that works. Like if I'm in front of you on my screen, like if I think I was in front of you on your screen too. Like if you launched later though, it's for some reason it does that. It will change the times like that. It's very interesting how that works. But and Cody, no, I am not. As you can tell by the title and description and everything else, it's all about the Lamborghini Huracan Performante. But all right, let's create this. We'll do the same exact thing again so everybody can borrow the good old Performante, even if they don't have it yet. We'll be doing S1 stock again. Then I'm going to go build for S1. That's the first thing we're going to do. Then we're going to do S2, I'm thinking, later on as well. So let's see here. Where am I? What am I looking at? And I personally will not be making a drift build for this car, but I'm sure somebody else will here. Slowest racer yet. <laughs> I mean, I don't see why you can't put the wide body on here, but that would be beautiful. That would be absolutely gorgeous, I'm sure. And I don't drift all-wheel drive, and I certainly don't swap all-wheel drive for real-wheel drive to drift. <laughs> and yeah, nobody really can. I, there's something wrong with the Forzathon shop, so let's just not worry about the Forzathon shop. I don't want to know what's in the Forzathon shop if it is working. I don't want to know. I mean, we already... Well, I, I think one of them is the Levante, because that showed up, but then the other one was not working. And I don't know, Jake, I don't know. It's honestly just going to go as long as it's fun. As long as we're having a good time. I'm not really on any type of schedule today, so. Three days later. Yeah, see, look at that understeer, though. Definitely some understeer that needs to be worked out. I think the springs will help that a lot, though. Like, I feel like it's just kind of the... It's like the transitional steering, like it's just really slow transitioning left to right. Look man, if you're looking for drifters, you came to the wrong place. That's not my thing. It's not my thing. Well, apparently the Forzathon shop is working for some people, so after this race we'll take a look and see if it's working. Maybe I'll restart my game. Well, Reaper, you gotta remember, the last race we did, there's not really that many turns that are, like, tighter turns, I should say. It's, like, faster, high speed, and, like I said, it wasn't bad understeer, it was just slight understeer. But that turn that I just was practicing around that we're about to do in this race, it felt very understeery. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. All I'm saying is it could be better. Like, we can definitely make it better. Not saying it's bad or atrocious or a car can't turn. Definitely not to that level. Appreciate it though, Jake. Appreciate it. And the Forzathon shop so far for me has been down, so we're going to take a look at that in just a second. See if it will work for me. And somebody, of course, had to say what the Forzathon shop cars were, even though I didn't want to know. Why? Why would you do that to me?
I feel just a little bit understeer. It could definitely be just like a hair better. That time I tried to push my car hard and it couldn't do it. It just won't swip through some of these turns like other cars will. Ooh, 10 second penalty, 10 second penalty. Yeah, oops is right. I'm just not good with the feels of this car right away. I can just tell the way I'm taking these turns, I'm like, I'm just not feeling it. I'm not perfect with it yet. Oh, that was a engine audio glitch or something. Did you guys hear that just now? <laughs> that time you definitely got me. I was bad on that race. I was bad on that race. It just... My only issue with the car is it just doesn't transition quickly. It doesn't transition smoothly. I don't know if you feel that same way, but maybe it's just my driving right now. It could just be my driving. I mean, I still have not woken up fully. I don't know if you guys have noticed that. I, for some, I swear to you, every Thursday, like literally every Thursday, I have trouble waking up. I don't know why. It's like always my day off, and I guess I'm just lazy because of that, or somewhat lazy. <laughs> I don't know why. Damn, 98% DNF. Oof. Damn, Reaper, I didn't know you were a woman. Now, the car definitely turns without drifting. It's just, it's not real crisp and smooth. It's not perfectly crisp and smooth. It's got to be worked out a little bit. Just a little bit. I think part of it, though, is just literally, I feel like there's way too much camber going on. Way too much stock negative camber. But we're going to tweak that out. We're going to tweak all that out right here, right now. I mean, we can't lighten her up too much because it's already S1. But we're definitely going to go to the upgrade shop now and tweak around a little bit. We're going to figure out what we want to do here. Let me reconnect here real quick just to make sure it does actually reconnect so you guys are still in here with me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's way too much negative camber. It's probably, most cars are, like, negative 0.3, or negative 3 and then negative, like, 2.5. And that's just way too much. It's totally unnecessary. Yeah, that interior is pretty nice, not gonna lie. I think people are saying that's, I don't remember, I haven't sat in the regular Hurricane, but apparently it looks the same. I don't know. Oh, yeah, we'll take a look at the Ford Zathon shop right now, too. Uh, let's see if it works for me. Apparently, it's working for some people. It might not be working for me, though. There we go. Now it's working. All right, well, there you go. So, the Levante, which is pretty rare. It's been, like, a seasonal exclusive. And then 1962 Ferrari 250 GT Berlinetta Lusso. 400 Forza Thun points. Apparently, I don't own it. So, I don't even know where this is from. Is that the auto show? Is that an auto show car? Let's take a look. Let's take a look, Ferrari 1962. 
I'm sure some of you know off the top of your head, but that's definitely not a car that I know off the top of my head. 1962. There she is. A 2.6 million credit. Well, definitely not a 10 million credit auto show car. A 2.6 million credit auto show car. Uh, so I gotta say, this is definitely the most lackluster for the Thon Shop that we've had in a while. What do you mean again, Potato? We've had some good Forza Thon Shops lately. Literally ever since like December, the Forza Thon Shops have been good. But unfortunately, this one definitely went down a little bit. Definitely went down a little bit. Uh, let's take a look. Let's see how much it is at the auction house too. Let's see if we can make some moolah off of this car, especially early on here. Uh, what car was that? I probably will not be able to differentiate it. What was the abbreviation? Two... Two fifty G T no not G T O. Two fifty G T. Wait a minute, no, I had to be there. I had to have been there. There it is, there it is. Okay. I was, it, I'm bad with those older Ferraris. So let's see what they are at the auction house though. One point eight million. And there's probably not too many here. Most of these are probably people that got it from the Forza Ton shop, honestly. So I mean if you have a ton of Forza Ton points, I guess, just Grab one, pop it up there. I'd put it for lower than what you see here. Put it for, I'd say, like, if you can, 1.5 million. Maybe just a million. Like, that's literally all of them. I'm at the bottom of the list. There's not many out there. Realistically, is anyone looking for this car? Probably not. But, again, if you have tons of Forzathon points and nothing else to do with them. Uh, but, all right. It is time to build. Which I'm very excited to do. It is time to build. So... We already went through. We're not doing a motor swap. Right now we're doing an S1 build. So everybody, if you're going to be customizing yours, just do S1. We're not making it rear-wheel drive. And obviously we cannot do either of those right now. But good night, Kanaya Beans. Peace out. From the Philippines, eh? We're definitely not putting on any of the arrow. Although the one thing I do want to throw out to you guys, because I know somebody's going to do it. This is ugly as hell. But it does, it should increase handling at higher speeds at least, and it's going to lower your PI by one, so it's something that some people might want to do, just want to point it out. I don't think I'm going to do anything with tires except for maybe put thicker rear tires. Now look at that though, if you drop, you can drop it down a lot in the S1 class with these kind of tires, so it's definitely an option, but I'm going to go for not doing that right now. I will put on the race tires though, I think they look a little bit nicer. We cannot put on the fronts, but we can definitely make the rears a little thicker. And that drops us down still. So, stock wheels. I wonder if this... That probably would lower the class a little bit. So, I might try that. We might try that. I don't think it's worth putting the width. But we're going to try it just because it looks better. So, we'll see if we can like do just one click or something. Actually, we'll just go the full way. If we have to, we can take it off later. We got to test out the build. We got to see what we can do. Wait, what do you mean the shop just changed? Well, like, it changed from what I just saw? Is that what you're saying? No, it didn't. No, it it couldn't have. I was gonna say. <laughs> what are you guys talking about? What do you mean the Forza Thon shop changed? Alright, so let me re-throw on that build. So, thicker rear tires, race tires, also notice though that putting on the thicker rear tires lower the class by 1 PI, so make sure you take notice of that. Well, it's been working, so I don't know, that's why, that's why I'm like, what are, you, what are you guys talking about? We'll do that, I think that should lower a little bit, we'll put this on just because that can increase handling and it looks cooler, especially once we stance this car out a little bit. And for sure, Pan, that's definitely something I would like to do. So we'll try putting that on. We'll take it off if we have to. Another thing, though, the race transmission and the sport transmission will will reduce the class. Now, that takes off 19 pounds but ups the class. We will do the race diff. I feel like that can be improved. 
there used to be a car horn now it's a mustache i mean to me that's not even a change like that's so insignificant i would have even noticed or cared but definitely want to put on the race springs definitely want to put on the anti-roll bars now we could if we had to put this on it does add weight but it could increase grip i don't know if i want to do that yet another thing too though if you could easily put on you could put on you could almost put this rate waste reduction on with the drag tires and keep it in s1 it'd be very close because this is putting it up 24 pi the, the drag tires i think reduced it 23 pi or something like that but then we could reduce some of those other things that we added on but that's definitely for s2 build right there like you have to put that on for s2 i think but let's see so we're at s2 i don't think yeah, so we're going to have to remove something because I don't think we can add any power. But realistically, we don't need to add power. I mean, look at those numbers already. Like, they're solid S1 numbers. Just want to go through here and though see how much. But I'm pretty excited to test this thing out for S2. That's going to be a little bit deeper of a build and a little bit more challenging, I think, to build. I don't even know if... It's going to be tough to even... No, it should definitely be able to get there. I don't know. We're going to have to see. But we're starting with S1. We are starting with S1. So we're at 901. We're definitely going to have to reduce something. I'm going to start with the smallest things first. So the clutch. So that is what? Four pounds. Not a big deal. And then drive line. Okay, so that's 19 pounds. Let's see if we can leave that though. And maybe just take away some of the width or something like that. Let's see if that can do anything. Nope, doesn't look like it. So we might just have to take off that, which I don't really want to do, but I have an idea. Another thing too, let me just see how this affects it. Yeah, no. Alright, so we'll try taking this off, but then let's try putting this back on. Yep, there we go. And then let's also try, probably won't work, but let's just try it. Yep, that puts us right back to S2 again, so... I think this is how we're going to build it for S1 right now. The only thing that I'm considering doing... Nope, can't even do that. So that is a crucial piece of it too. Making the rear wheel one inch thicker. Looks perfect though, the way it is. So, But we have on everything that we need to customize the tuning. We got the race springs. We got the race anti-roll bar. So this should be pretty good. This should be pretty good. We could do heavier wheels, but I don't think that's really worthwhile. I guess we could try it. I don't I kinda want I just want to use the stock wheels honestly, but let's just let's try it just to show you guys and see for a future build reference. So uh those look fine. Let's just go with those. So that's a little bit heavier. And then we could probably wait a minute, actually hold on. Hold on. So let's just see. Wait a minute. So that was How many pounds heavier is that? Sixteen pounds heavier. Puts us down to S1899. But then we could go over to the drive line, and that is 19.2. So that actually does make the car lighter to do that. So you put on 16 pound heavier wheels, then reduce 19 pounds by this. Still keeps it in S1. And then we might as well just see if we can tack on the flywheel. But we cannot. So we'll just leave it like that. I'm not huge on these wheels, but we're not going to take too long picking out wheels right now. I love the stock wheels, really want to use them. But we'll try it out for the purposes of making the quickest build here. 3,043 pounds. We got the lateral Gs up. The horsepower is the same. But again, the numbers 0 to 100 are really solid already. So I don't think we really have to add power to make this thing good. Alright, so we're definitely going to have to do a lot of tuning. Real quick, I just want to see, so we definitely need to lower the front like a tick, and that, oop, oop. I wonder if the perform, has anyone seen a performante at the auction house? Like, is that even, is that a thing? Is that a thing here today? You know that people are going to be auctioning this car. Because people don't want the car. People are like, we don't want a reskin. You're definitely going to see them in the auction house. But I just wonder if it's like blacklisted right now, if it literally can't be auctioned yet. 
like some cars have been in the past or if it is able to be auctioned yet that's kind of an interesting thing but right now there are none so let me take a look here we're gonna reduce the front by one tick actually i don't know we're definitely gonna have to reduce the rear all the way that might not even make it level the rear kind of sits high honestly as you guys can see why does the rear sit so high i don't like that what is that all about Yeah, I don't usually check the first day either, but look at how high the rear sits. Like, why does it sit so high, man? It should be able to sit level with the front, and it does not. So that's kind of unfortunate, but we're going to leave it there for now. Uh, I'm definitely not going to try and auction one. Are you crazy? Now I'm going to get close to the auction button. Not even close. But all right, so we got her sitting pretty. I'm literally just going to go drive it now. Man, she looks good. Man, she looks good. We're just going to go drive it now. We're not going to tune anything. We're just going to drive it now with the build. If anybody wants to join, by the way. we got a few spots open here, so let me invite you guys. The Forza Thunchap cars are the Levante and the 1962 Ferrari that is worth 2.6 million credits at the auto show. And just send me a message. Gamertag is stevio2175. Alrighty, I definitely need to rework the gearing. So we'll actually do that real quick a little bit before... Whoa! Damn! Schmacking me. We're gonna do that real quick because that needs to be done. Damn, the acceleration is like all the way up for the final drive, so... Let's see what our top speed is right there. We can definitely work this more towards speed. I think the acceleration is plenty good already. Alright, well that didn't help too much. We're going to leave it there. Okay, so apparently it's only 2 and negative 5. I mean, we're not going to touch any of this stuff right now, but... Definitely a lot that needs to be tweaked around. We're going to leave that all stock for now, pretty much. See how it is. We definitely need to upgrade the tuning of the gearing, though, because <laughs> I just drove it for one second. I was like, yeah, this is, this is no good. But all right, let's pick another different race. We'll just keep finding unique races that we can do. Uh, I guess we'll do the Cotswold, or whatever it is, Super Sprint. Well, hello there, Robbie. Welcome to the stream. How are you? All right, we got a full lobby. So I think this time we'll do team racing. We'll switch it up, have a little bit of fun. We'll do some good old team racing. So again, we're doing S1. I mean, I guess if people want to use a different car, they can, right? Actually, well, I feel like everybody wants to use this. So if you don't have it unlocked, I'll just make it all performantes again. We'll see how our different builds are. Same here, Robbie. Same here.
All right, this will be our first run testing out the build of the S1 Performante. I definitely, I, I don't know, I'm trying to decide like right now, do I think this is going to be better for S1 or for S2? I, I don't know yet. I'm a little bit concerned about building it for S2 without motor swapping. I'm not sure if it's going to be able to get to the top of the class, which is kind of interesting, honestly. Consider, I feel like, I'm pretty sure the stock car we could, the stock regular Hurricane, we could actually get to S2, because I made a couple different builds for that. But hello there, Alfie. Welcome to the stream. Uh, some people have been telling me about that. I don't know. Is there like an issue? And so we're not uh, we're not changing anything until we drive it built. The gearing you can change and the uh, height because that's just stuff that gets set there no matter what. But I guess two people aren't ready. That's fine. <laughs> Alright, Rocco. Let's go, baby. But I, I don't know. I mean, it could have been that you weren't using the, the correct car class. You didn't have highly skilled difficulty on. I'm talking to 7 Oi. Or you might have been in the normal race instead of the seasonal. Like, there's a bunch of different little things. But apparently there's, like, a glitch, too, where people just don't get the car. So I have no idea. I have no idea. What is the rarest car in Forza? Uh... I'd say the 812's up there, the Capri Forza Edition is up there. Mm, what else is, like, super rare? I mean, some of the pre-order cars, I'm sure, still. I don't really know for sure. Apparently the Fiat Dino was at one point. I know it's not now, but that surprised me, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's some other, like, odd car that's still the rarest. But all right, the upgraded S1 Performante. We had to fool around a few little things. I'm curious, anybody in my race, did anyone try out Rally or Drag Tires? But peace out, Fernando. And FGen, I'd like to think that too, and that's exactly what I said right when that happened and it came out. I said, not so rare anymore. Guess what? It's still very rare because hardly anyone completes that stuff. Hardly anyone. People are still crazy for the 812. And same with the Capri. It's there, but nobody does it. I'm telling you, it's still one of the rarest cars in the game. And the reason being, the only other time anybody could get it was the 4th Athon Shop Week 2, when hardly anyone that probably still plays this game had the game. So, it's still a super rare car. It's still a super rare car. Very nice, Piotr. I'm actually, uh, I have some Ukrainian background, so Poland background kind of has a little connection there a little bit, too. The Rip Rod just was in the uh, Forzathon shop for Christmas Day, I think it was. Or was that the Bone Shaker? Wait, where was the Rip Rod? The Rip Rod's come back a couple times. I mean, that's definitely still rare, but I've seen them a lot more often in the Forzathon shop, so I don't think that that one's quite as rare either. I definitely still need to work out like the turning. It's still just, it's just not turning quickly enough. It's just, it's like a little late to the turn. Like I'm trying to turn it's just like, nope, not ready for it yet. It's not awful again, but it just needs a little bit of work. And the red team's killing it right now. I took that turn really bad. My feel for this car is not on point at all right now, dude. I still gotta get used to it. Reaper, did you like copy my gearing or something, bro? Like, damn. I feel like we're literally running the same gear ratios. <laughs>
<laughs> I love how close our races always are. No matter what, they're always super close. <laughs> Damn, red team killing it out here, though. I love it. One, two, four. Not bad from the blue team, though. Three, five, six. Those one, two spots make a huge difference, though, in the score. <laughs> huge difference. But, uh, one, yeah, you can literally find the Pista and the 812 for less than 800,000 a pop. I mean, that just sounds like an excuse to me phone number. <laughs> That's good, Raka. That's good. <laughs> Minus three auctions. <laughs> At the auction house, but you just got to keep searching. If you want the cars bad enough, you'll be dedicated and keep looking. And I mean, you could try to buy it now, but considering there's hundreds of people watching me, if I go and try and auction them, somebody else is going to go for it too, and there's no guarantee you're getting it. No guarantee at all that you're getting it. Alright, let me take a look here. All right, we will start with that. Thank you, though, Lewis. Thank you, though, Lewis. Baby steps with the tune. Baby steps. All right, we got to find another different race to do. Let's head over to the Derwent Lakeside Sprint. Yeah, I actually completed that live. I don't know if any of you guys that are currently watching saw that, but I went and did the 812 stories like a majority of them at least the ones i hadn't already covered previously live and then we unlocked the 812 which took me a while to actually sit down and want to do because it takes time and that's the thing like if i'm like that imagine other people you know especially people that just got the game recently and stuff like that not a problem though not a problem All right, we'll do the same thing. I think the team racing was pretty fun. Hopefully everybody will join this time, though. Do a nice little 6v6. I like the Performante, though. I just got to get my feel for it. It's a car that I don't have that immediate connection with. I'm still not smooth around some of the turns. I didn't realize there was two people that weren't in here. My B, my B. He's trying to tell me that I'm blocked. I'm like, nah, I'm not blocked. I'm not blocked, Forza. Oh, yeah, the Rip Rod is in the star card. I forgot about that. I unlocked that so easily without even trying, though, so... I totally forgot about that. See, it, it doesn't tell you what the reward was that you unlocked, so it's kind of annoying. Whoa! Damn, what did I go over that made me bump like that? It just jumped my wheels right up. Oh, there's like a bump in the road right there. Is, dude, I've never even noticed that I was there on this part of the road. Damn, that caught me real good though. That caught me real good. And uh, just saying, but my next auction house giveaway, I might have a couple pistas to give away. I might have a few of those pew pew -stas. The beautiful Ferrari pistas. That's definitely becoming a rare car, the Pista. 
The pea stuff for sure. And Sintral, I'm planning on it. I'm certainly planning on it. Hello there, Razorback. You know, the Razorback was my favorite gun in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. I do miss it. I do miss the Razorback. I'm probably tomorrow night, if not tomorrow night, Saturday night. I mean, Saturday nights are pretty consistent. I'm trying to squeak Friday nights in there consistently, too. A piece that comes back in Series 55. <laughs> Long time from now, huh? Long time from now. People like the purple on the Performantes, huh? I love the orange. I don't know. I don't think I can change this. I might make a different orange or something, but... I hate fusing in between cars, though. It's so hard to, like, see, like... Exactly where we are. I just do not have a good feel with this car yet. I definitely need to adjust my camber settings though, because it's not gripping the way I wanted to around some of these turns. I'm trying to push the car a little harder now. Definitely need some tweaks and adjustments to run smoothly. But she handles pretty good though. Don't get me wrong, like she handles good. I just gotta get it to my personal liking, I feel. <laughs> Another close race. Another one. If I didn't screw up on that one turn, we probably would have finished like right on top of each other. <laughs> Come on, red team, what the hell, man? <laughs> Damn, one, three, four on the blue team. My team got smoked. We got smoked out here. <laughs> Damn, that was nice. Though. I like that me and Reaper got split up there because I made it a very, very, very good challenging team race. <laughs> <laughs> Minus four auctions. Man, I'm getting destroyed by Reaper today. Reaper's got my number out here. Yeah, no, you definitely gotta tweak it around a little bit. You cannot leave it stock. Definitely cannot leave it stock. 175, damn. Yeah, you definitely need to tweak that. Definitely need to tweak that. You should be able to hit 200, no problem. Gotta hit 200, no problem. All right, we gotta work on my handling though. Definitely gotta work on my handling and my grip a little bit too. My, my car does slide out a little bit when it definitely should not. A little bit of tweaking to be done there yet. I'm gonna, I wanna run this thing in Rivals too. I wanna see how it does in Rivals. That's another thing I gotta do. But peace out, phone number. Have a great night or day or whatever, morning. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping by at the stream.
And uh, there should be a couple spots open, I'd imagine. If anybody else needs to get in here. Uh, it's too late for Forzeth Online. There's no way we're going to make it. It's already 11 o'clock. I didn't even do anything for it, so what are you trying to save? What are you trying to save? Alright. And, uh, maybe Evil Raka, maybe. Main focus of this stream, though, is the Performante. I mean, I would try and help you find a piece of it, but right now is not a good time. <laughs> right now we're looking for this poor Formante, trying to perfect the build. Trying to perfect the tune at this point. I think my build is perfect. I actually love the build. We just gotta perf perfect the little things. And Luis the Forzathon shop is a little bit underwhelming this week compared to prior weeks. The Levante, kind of a rare SUV, and then the auto show car that costs 2.6 million credits, the Ferrari Lusso, the 1962. So nothing too exciting going on there. And I do like it, Andre. It's actually really nice. The Poiple. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Guys, again, to see me do some fine tuning. Some good old fine tuning of my gear ratio. So basically what I'm looking for here when I'm doing my gear ratio tuning is when I, first off when I launch, I want it to be a smooth launch, but then also when I start shifting, you don't want your RPMs to drop too far down. So like once you see where you are maxing here, then see how I shifted and it went down to about, it was like right around there. It's like 6,800 RPMs. Like, see, that's very good because that's high in the power band. That's when the car is making a lot of torque and horsepower. That's the goal. You want to be in the power band. You want to make as much power as possible throughout each gear. So we're going to have to shorten this one a little bit.
but you want to have enough top speed as well. So it's all about balance. You want to have enough top speed, but you also want to be able to have really good acceleration at all points throughout as you're racing. But hello there, Lewis. How are you? <laughs> and I do not have the Superstar badge. I haven't decided to work on that yet. I still want to work on getting there. I can get to that. Don't worry. I can certainly get to that. Bruh, come on, I'm trying to test you. You're getting in my way. You're getting in my way. So that is feeling pretty good, the gearing now. Now, the next thing that I like to do is just figure out tire pressures and also just the camber. So I don't know if you guys ever use this or not, but some of you might not even have it on, but you can replace. Let me take a look at my settings to show you guys. You can actually replace the, I think you have to go to HUD and gameplay. Never mind. Where is this setting? It's been a while. It's been a while. Maybe it's controller settings. Yeah, this is it. So, see, I have telemetry D pad down. You just have to switch. Where is that setting? So, you turn Anna off. And then that allows you to have that as your setting for the D pad down, which is really cool because when you go to telemetry, you hit D on, down on the D-pad, you can literally pop up like all the different aspects of your car, like your suspension, your peak grip, horsepower, you can see like how much you're on the throttle, the miles per hour gun, it's really cool. Like This is something that not many people know about. But then if you go to tire pressure, you can see your camber and it changes as you're driving. Obviously your car is kind of bouncing around on bumps on the road and stuff, but then when you're going on turns, your camber should be pretty close to zero. You don't want too much negative camber. So as you can see, I have like 1.5 negative camber going around some of these turns. So we got to get rid of some of that. And it's always about the outside tire. So when you're kind of making the turn, you got to look at whatever your outside tires are. And the homie cat, you didn't miss it because you're here now. And I have no idea, I have no idea, Ziki. I haven't seen any yet, and nobody's been able to confirm or deny for me if it is blacklisted. But so we're going to lower this down a pretty significant amount because you really don't need that much negative camber for it to be sufficient. And no, that is not a mod. Definitely not a mod. It's always the best to do this in summertime. Unfortunately, we don't have summer conditions, but still can be fun. So we just lower it down, then we pop up the menus again. And then again, when you're going around the turn, you want your outside tires to be at about zero. See, that feels way better already. It's handling way better already. It's hard to do this though, it's hard to like pay attention to what the numbers are and actually drive properly. And no, this is all we'll drive, Jaden. It's a Lamborghini Hurricane.
Uh, Noah, I'm thinking for the Hurricane, it's definitely good for S1. I'm going to run it in Rivals and see where it lands, but I'd say also S2 might definitely have a chance. I definitely think it can have a chance to be good for that. But then you just got to go back into your tuning and then tweak a little bit. So I'm going to lower that down a little bit more. Then after I do this, we're going to head back to the racetrack. So if anybody else wants to get in here to run some performantes, let me know. I will never sell anybody this Lamborghini. This one is literally never going to leave my possession. It sounds good, Reaper. Sounds good. And these will probably go in the auction house for minimum buyout to start. I don't think it'll be too much, but I'm sure they have the potential to work their way up to 20 million. Definitely could have that potential. Eight Hummer open tops? I have two. I just searched one time and I saw one and I was like, I might as well take this because I'm sure somebody's going to miss it. Somebody's going to need this. Are we talking about the open top reaper? I think you and me both definitely want to have two of these, the performante. You can even you can barely even tell that the reverse lights on like the only thing that you can tell is like the, it lights up the ground actually that's pretty cool Alrighty, I think we are ready to get back into racing. Let me invite anybody else that wants to get in here, though. Again, gamer tag is stevio2175. You know, I I want to get Forza Motorsport 7 and try it sometime again soon. Like, I had it, I got rid of it, though. I kind of want to get it again just to try it. Just to see what it's all about. But, alright, so what race have we not done yet that we can try out? What race have we not done yet that we can try out? Oh, we haven't done this one yet. It's kind of hidden because it's a seasonal championship. <laughs> the Pew for Monte. Minimum buyout at 151. So it is auctionable. I might have to look for some today. I might have to do it. You know, I'm kind of curious. How would you guys how would you guys feel about this idea? So I could wear my GoPro like I've done to build my Lego cars that I've shown on my channel. That's fine, Andre though. Not a problem. But I could wear my GoPro and as I'm on my laptop like sniping cars, I could like record me doing it. I wonder, I wonder how people would feel about that, like, if you guys would like that. <laughs> I feel like it's, like, so weird to do that, but... Oh, wait. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Don't want to do that. 
But alright, we're gonna do S1. We'll just do S1 Lamborghini. How's that? That makes it pretty simple. So you can use any S1 Lamborghini you want. Summer clear. Teams will be off. Collisions off. S1. We'll just do every man for themselves. Oh, really? <laughs> Is it like that D Gung guy or whatever? I think I've seen like something like that. D Dung or something. I don't even know. <laughs> Is that the guy's name? I feel like I've seen that recommended on my channel before. So wait, Sabu, you saw it, but you didn't get it. What's that all about, bro? Now, nah, there's see, that's the thing, dude. Like I said, first day, I won't do it because I know that there's, like, those cheaters out there, you know? Those people with those snipe bots or whatever the hell people use to basically let their computers do it. But I got you, Reaper. I got you. I'm sure somebody will be making me a, a, a paint job that says Pew Fermante. Or the Pew Pew Monte, I think it should say. It'll probably be for like 25k though. 24, 25. First time you went in, you saw one, huh? Yeah, that's never a good situation there. Only six players. Where's everybody at? Nobody wants to race in the Pew for Monte. <laughs> But a German, I have a Discord. There's a lot of good information that's always going around in my Discord. But aside from that, I mean, Reddit's not a bad place. I don't go there much anymore, but I used to use Reddit all the time in Forza Horizon 3. I used to post there weekly for weekly, or for Forzathon events. When Forzathon was actually, like, really fun and somewhat challenging and pretty new to, like, the series. And used to talk to people on there all the time, but I don't really use it all too much anymore. Yeah, I was wondering that too, Reaper. I was wondering if you were talking about the regular Urican, Hurrican, Urican, whatever you want to say it. And one of my moderators just posted my Discord link. And Andre, I do not really use any assists. I just use manual, not manual with clutch. And I think that's it. I don't really use any assists. What do I have on? ABS on. I have ABS on. That's it. That's the only assist I use, I'm pretty sure. And braking line. Even though in Horizon 3 I didn't even have a driving line. I was just... I played that game so much I learned everything so well. But I started Horizon 3 with all the assists on, so I think that's the difference. Dude, my turning is so bad right now. I'm just misjudging like when I need to start turning with this car. I just don't have a perfect feel for it yet. I will say it feels way better now though with the tires tuned. And we still got some tweaking to do though. We still got some tweaking to do. And I messed up that turn. That should be a 10 second penalty, I know. Should be a 10 second penalty, I know.
All right, we definitely need to work on the understeer a little bit, though. It's the off-throttle understeer that I got to work on yet. There we go. Finally, I get a victory. Damn, my win-loss is going to suck with my my first owner Lamborghini because of you, Reaper. <laughs> uh, finally got you on one, though. Finally got you on one. I made a huge difference tuning the tires. A huge difference. There's still a few more things we got to work on. Still a few more things that we have to work on. Well, hello there, Sunil. Hello there, Devin. Yeah, the rock walls are real bad. <laughs> I missed the checkpoint. <laughs> uh, I hit the one wall, but it wasn't by much. I thought my car would be able to pull through it, but again, still just that, just a little bit of understeer at times that I am used to my cars usually being able to just plow right through, so. A little bit more tweaking needed. Just a little bit more tweaking needed. Hello again, Lewis. <laughs> Yo, so if you guys saw my Porsche video yesterday, though, about the rare 2019 911 GT3 RS, did you guys see the poll, though, about the Forzathon shop? Like, somebody just... Like, good timing, Anthony. Somebody just asked me about the Forzathon shop. But look at these cars here. Like, come on. Realistically, not too many people are going to be happy with this Forzathon shop. They need to bring back voting. They need to let us vote on Twitter again for what cars we want. Like, they really need to do that. And that'll happen sometimes, Rocky. Just gotta get the tune right. Just gotta get the tune right. I really hope they bring voting back. That's one thing I definitely hope that we see at some point here. But, alright, so the next piece of my tuning is gonna be a little bit more in-depth. So I'm gonna try and rebalance my springs and my anti-roll bars and everything. But here's the setup I got right now. We basically just weight reduced a little bit, switched things around lowered the car. I mean, I'm loving this thing. I'm honestly loving it. I'm definitely going to go run it in Rivals pretty soon and see how it does. I might even run it right now in Rivals. I don't know. We'll see. I think it needs a little bit more tweaking before we do anything else, but... Oh, absolutely, Vic Viper. Absolutely. Actually, no. I'm going to keep it for myself. i got to make sure nobody can steal my work. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I'll probably upload it at some point. But, uh, let's see here. Just give me one second. Give me one good old second here. I like the weight balance of this car, though. Like, 43% in the front and 57 in the back. That's pretty nice. It's pretty nice for the balancing of the car. And Hogan, yes, I do. Yes, I do. Alright, so for now, I'm going to save this setup. Just because I felt pretty good about it right now. It's not. I'm not going to share this, but I just want to save it. Just so in case I'm not happy with changes that I make, I can kind of restart from here. Because where we're at right now, the car feels very good. Just needs a little bit of tweaking. Just a little bit of tweaking, which pr tire pressure is definitely something we need to work with. Definitely going to switch that around. I'm pretty happy with my gearing ratio setup. I'm pretty happy with this right now, actually. Feels pretty quick through all the gears. Feels pretty good. I mean, I might be able to tweak that a little bit, especially 7th gear. I feel like I should tweak that, like, maybe down just one. Because seventh gear is going to be really slow. I'm just trying to get a little more top end out of it. So we're just going to leave that, though. And I haven't really noticed any online issues aside from earlier. I was connected and we were about to do Forzathon Live and then it disconnected me, which was really annoying. But, yeah, I mean, if you can get Xbox Live Gold, I just buy $60 for the year. I mean, I feel like that's not that bad of a deal. Like, you pay 60 up front, but then you're good for a whole year that you don't have to pay for anything. 
But honestly, this felt pretty good. That definitely, I think, made a difference. Adjusting the center differential. I might even try pushing that more towards the rear. That definitely can help with oversteer. Getting more oversteer, but the problem is that's only usually on throttle. My problem has been off throttle, which this I already put down to zero, so I feel like that should be pretty good the way it is. Uh, the only other thing, it's really just dampening the springs and the anti-roll bars that we need to work with yet, and the tire pressures, but tire pressure isn't something I feel like needs too much work, but hello there, pure nukes. So, I definitely feel like this needs to be stiffer. The springs need to be stiffer, and anti-roll bars... Honestly, the anti-roll bars don't look too bad, but I've done, like, research in the past, and one of the methods I tried just to kind of, like, rework these a little bit and go from there is there's some different, like, formulas people have come out, come out with. I have no idea, like, where they come out with these things, but basically you, like, take the minimum, subtract it from the maximum, and then also multiply that by your weight percentages. So, like, this car is 57% in the rear, 43% in the front, the weight percentages. So I'll kind of just take that formula, rework these, use that as my starting point or kind of like my base setup for the springs and everything. And then I just tune by feel after that. I'll kind of just tweak around with it as I'm driving, as I'm racing and see how things feel. So for dampening, literally we'll take the three, subtract it from the 20. So you'll start with 17. And I always just pull up my calculator on my laptop. This is something that you can do just to kind of like get a different feel, get a different like kind of tune set up for your car other than stock. Because I don't know what else you could possibly use. Like I kind of looked up things. I was like, can you, is there any way to like figure out how to just start somewhere other than stock? And this is what I came up with. So there's a few different resources out there too. It's crazy that people even know how to like translate the real world, the real world tuning into this kind of stuff. But, <laughs> Cebu, honestly, dude, I will try. Like, I will certainly try. I don't know if it'll be easy to do tonight, but I, I will try. I really want a second one of these myself, so I'm probably going to look out. And I feel like today is the day that the people that hate this car are going to get it and sell it, so I'll definitely be looking out. So, basically, though, you take 17, which is the max stiffness minus the min stiffness, and then you multiply that. We'll start with the front weight percentage, which, like I said, it was 43%. So you got to make that a decimal, so 0.43. Then that gives you, like, a number. And then you're supposed to just add the minimum back, like, whatever the softest is. So then we'll add 3. And that's how we get the 10.3 that we'll use for the front rebound. And, again, these things I all tweak around, but this is just kind of how you get the base. And it's literally the same thing again. Except you do it for the back. So the back is 57%. So you times it by 0.57. You get your number. You add the 3 back. So then you pop this down to 11.5. And then for the bump stiffness, you basically, like, another thing too, like, people I feel like don't realize this. You just avoid, or not avoid, you, you just read the descriptions here. So... Once you set like your front and rear rebound stiffness, as you can see it says first set the damping stiffness, then set the bump ratio. The bump should be 50 to 75% as stiff as the rebound. So literally all you do, I, I just go in the middle, like 60%, so you do like the 10.3. Then you times that by 0.6 for 60%. And that gives you a nice little 6.1. I could ballpark these, but I like to get them as exact as possible. So then same thing. You just do 11.5 times that by the 0.6. That gives you 6.9. Look at that. 6.9. Ha, so funny, right? So there you go. That's setting the dampening. And then same thing with the springs. You literally figure out whatever the softest is. Then you figure out what the max stiffness is, and I feel like the springs are going to make the biggest difference with this car, because they were set really, really soft overall, and a pretty big difference between the front and the rear, so we'll see. But it's a little bit, like, time-consuming doing this, but it can, like, setting this as, like, a base setup, I've, I've felt very confidently about, like, this being actually a legitimate thing after testing it out. So you just take the max again, 
minus the min, so 1,500 whatever, minus the 315, and that gives you the good old 1261. Then you times that by the front. I know this is a little boring too, but hey, again, if you're looking to learn how to tune, this is a great starting point, just learning these little basic things. And then once you get that number, though, you add back the minimum, which was the 315.3. So there you go. Now the front will be 857. The one thing I've noticed about this, like doing this, is I feel like the springs end up being a little bit too stiff sometimes. But again, it's all about a feel thing, and I just feel like this is a better starting point than taking the stock and then just kind of randomly like, man, I don't even know where to go from here. I don't know to make it stiffer or whatever. So that's why I do this. I think it's like really effective, honestly. And then same thing for the back, the 1261. You can take that same number because it's the same thing, max minus min. This time, though, you multiply that by the 0.57 for the rear add back the minimum 315.3 and then we're gonna drop that down to a thousand thirty four so I feel like these numbers are looking a lot more like balanced for the springs so we'll see how it does when I go race this thing you'll you'll probably notice like a pretty big difference you'll probably notice a pretty big difference and same thing for this Max minus the min, which I'm pretty sure it's, isn't it always 60 and 1? For the most part, like, these are always the same, so you can actually just memorize them and not even have to do it. It's 65, so obviously then you take the 64. You times that by your good old 0.43, just have to know your front and rear weight percentages. Then add back the 1, so we're going to be at 28.52 in the front. And this is why I saved the base, like the stock setup too, though, because sometimes that might be better than this formulas. But it's just something else if you don't like the stock feels at all. Like this is like perfect to just switch it up. But then the same thing, the 64 times the rear weight percentage, which is 0.57. Bam, bam, bam. Add the one back. So that's 37.48. I feel like that's a little bit stiff. But again, you never know. You never know until you try different things. And like I said, we already did all this. The tires is going to be the last thing I do if I feel like I need to. And I think we're pretty much good to go on everything else, though. Like, everything else has felt pretty good. It's just about squeaking out those few final little things. Surprisingly, the acceleration settings have felt pretty good here. I might tweak around with that yet. But we're going to go with that. Now we're going to hop back out to the racetrack. And we're going to see how we do here. And I mean, I would love to hand everybody an 812 super fast. The only problem is I can't guarantee that you're going to get it, especially because literally everybody, everybody is out there searching for those things. But <laughs> critical boss, there you go. Don't cry, though, please. Just be happy. <laughs> but damn, Sabu, damn. I should be out there searching for them then. But all right, so... If anybody wants to join me, let me know now. And we're going to head over to... This is a pretty... Whoa, 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 not that one. Oh, this is the trial. The Edinburgh City Sprint. This is a pretty fun race here, so we'll do this one next. Does anyone have any questions? <laughs> Very nice, Zen Gummy. Glad to hear that, man. Does anyone have any questions about their math lesson today? We'll see if it pays off or not, though. We'll see if it pays off or if I just want to go back to that kind of base setup that we had from the stock build. But we got eight spots in here. We got eight spots in here. Let me know if you guys want to join. Yeah. 
it does seem a little confusing at first, but once you do it a couple times, it's like so simple. It's literally max by, max stiffness minus min softness times that by your front and rear weight percentages, which you just go to your my cars to see that. And one plus one equals three. Because you got the one, you got the plus, and you got the one. You know, three different things, so three. And yeah, just shoot me a message, guys. Just shoot me a message. And, uh, I mean, I can't really help you get the performante. Hopefully the stream I'm doing right now will help you, though, because I did show you guys everything I did to unlock it within the first 20 minutes. And why is Modern Warfare updating again? What is going on? <laughs> What is going on? Alright. Switch to normal event. We could do co-op against Drivatars. Might as well, since I think we only have like six people in here right now. So we'll do, again, Lamborghini S1. Wait. Gotta make sure it's summertime, clear, fixed. Yep. It's all good scans. It is all good. See how she feels, though. Very nice, Hogan. Very nice. One of my biggest troubles is with this car is for some reason I'm so bad at knowing what gear I'm in. Like, I never shift into the right gear. Yeah, what are you guys doing out here? Come on, guys. We gotta do some co-op racing. Damn, only four? What are you other two doing? Tuning still? <laughs> That's my only thing with this car is like for some reason, I guess it sounds so similar throughout every gear, like there's not much of a difference, so it's just tough to know when you're in like third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, like they all sound very similar. And I don't know, Aaron, I don't know. Not too much longer. Not too much longer. Do a couple more races, probably run rivals. I think for now we're just going to leave it to just me having an S1 setup because I kind of want to go into the auction house and try and get a second one. And yeah, I definitely want to do that, Reaper. I definitely want to do that. I also want to pop Stevio on there somewhere. I'm wondering if there's something cool we could do with the roof as well. And I did not get to 80%. All I did was focus on getting a 50 to get this performante. All right, 4v8, let's do it. Wow, none of them, uh, okay, I was gonna say, one of them has a performante. They're gonna lose. They're gonna lose. Oh no, this is definitely not my first time driving it. It's very good though, very good for S1, solid stock numbers. You can tweak it around a little bit to keep it in S1, but make it quicker, make it handle a little bit better, and it's just a fun car. Bro, what are you... What is that? What the hell was that? What is he turning into me like that for? Makes no sense. See, I thought I was in third gear there and I was in fourth, man. I gotta get my gearing figured out in this car. Like, it feels fine, it's just I can't hear where I need to be. It's so frustrating, honestly.
I'm always so bad at this next turn here. I'm probably going to screw this up so bad. That could have been worse. I think my dampening is a little bit too stiff. Reaper, why are we such similar drivers, bro? It's absurd. <laughs> Oof. Oof. I forgot collisions are on. It's ridiculous, bro, how similar we are driving sometimes. Absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> but damn, look at that. One, two, three, four. You know, I'll be honest, I think it's on new racer difficulty, though, because I had it on that for the weekly fours-a-thon. So that wasn't too impressive of a team victory, but we'll still take it, that one, two, three, four. You don't see it very often. <laughs> That was good, though. That was good. That was a good run. Car feels pretty good, too. I still feel like something could be tweaked. I still feel like something can be tweaked. I think my dampening needs to be a little bit softer, because it's definitely, like, a little bit skittish over some of those, like, bumpier terrains. And then I'm thinking something needs to change, too, to make it just a little bit better. A little less understeer. I don't know, Jack. We'll see. We're going to have to run it against the Pista. We're going to have to run it against the Pista. For real? <laughs> I only felt it the one time. I only felt you hit me the one time. I'm going to save that setup too, though. Dude, this is so laggy. Oh my goodness. It's so slow and laggy. <laughs> Jeez, I can't even type. It's ridiculous. Okay. And, uh, Jack, I mean, I don't know, what are you even talking about? Like, upgraded stock? Like, you're just coming out here saying it's better. Like, you're not giving me any proof of anything. Like, what are you even talking about? But, of course, it's hard to snipe, dude. People don't want to earn it. People don't want to work for it. But, I mean, considering they're not both in the same class stock, I feel like that's not even a fair, like, comparison. I feel like you got to tune them and put them either both S1, which you can easily drop the Pista down to S1, or you can put the Performante and the Pista to S2. But stock, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like just the all-wheel drive versus the real-wheel drive could make up for that 12 PI difference. It also depends on the driver, how well you're making turns around things. Like, I don't know. That would require some good testing. But all right, let's run one more time. Actually, I want to want to tweak something around, though. You know what, tire pressure is something that we haven't done yet. I don't even know what I want to do with the tire pressure. Let's just start with, like, let's start with that, see how that feels. We'll literally just do the tire pressure. And then, let's try and find a different race that we have not done yet today. 
Uh, I don't think we've done this one, the Meadow Sprint. I tried to stay away from the other races that I like do a lot. I want to try and switch it up and do some races I'm not as comfortable with. This is one I tested on recently pretty pretty often. I might actually run the Hurricane Performante S1 Rivals here to see how it did against my other Lamborghini. But uh, PvP will do. I think this will be the last race. Then we'll run S1 Rivals. And then I'm probably just going to get off. I'm probably going to do another stream sometime, maybe this weekend, where we fool around in S2 class and see how it is. Because I want to go to the auction house. I want to try and get another Performante, even though it's probably not going to happen. just want to try. And also, I have other things I need to get done. So we've been streaming for, what, two hours? Almost two and a half hours here, so that is a plenty good. Plenty good fun. Uh, we'll do Lamborghini again, S1. How often are you guys that are looking at the auction house, how often are you seeing the Performante? I am curious. A lot. I mean, if people are using the stupid cheats to get the cars, I mean, you're not going to have much of a chance no matter what, but I want to get out there and see what I can do. Because if it is legitimate searchers, I know I can do it. Sabu, are you still here? Have you gotten any? I think you told me you stopped, but... Same here. Same here. I want a second one. I want to keep this one S1. Sounds good, Reaper. Sounds good. Exactly, there are a lot of people looking, because, I, I mean, it took me less than 20 minutes. Less than 20 minutes to get the Performante. Like, why are people so, I don't know, I don't know if it's lazy or just not wanting to play. Like, it's not even that hard. It's 50%. I totally could get if it was, like, 80%, you don't have Xbox Live, whatever. But, like, come on, man. Come on. 50% is nothing. And Mobim, you just got to play the festival playlist, so I can't, like, show you right now, but literally just, like, do the PR stunts, the seasonal PR stunts, do the single-player seasonal championships, do the Forzathon weekly, there should be a Forzathon daily that you can do. They're all things that you can get done pretty quickly, I think. Can I always forget, can monthly rivals be done in single-player? That's the other one thing that I forget sometimes, but it's line. I love the Performante. Absolutely love it for S1 racing. Reaper, what happens? Oh, I... Yo, I totally swore that I saw a P next to your name. I thought you used the Performante. I was like, oh, okay, he's using it anyways. But let's see. S1900 regular Uricon against the Performante. And you guys have seen in these races that me and Reaper are literally like neck-to-neck -neck drivers most of the time. So let's see what happens here. Don't tell me they're identical. <laughs> Cause so far right now they literally look identical. Damn Reaper, you look so laggy around that turn. Oh, I hit the fences of course. Well that ruins that. Oh, 
Remember, Reaper, don't push too hard. Well, if I didn't hit the fences, we probably finished like within a millisecond of each other. <laughs> That was only like a second difference. 1.4 second difference to be exact. So the Uricon, the regular one, seems pretty similar in S1. In S1. Hey, nice anonymous strike. I actually got one from the auction house, huh? Alright, so we are going to run this thing on Rivals now. I want to see how it does. And all you guys watching right now are going to have a little preview of the video that you're going to see tomorrow on my channel. You guys are going to have a nice little preview. This will probably be the final thing we do in the stream. Hopefully I'll be able to run the race good. Hopefully I will be able to run the race good. Alright, so thank you to everyone that raced with me here today on the stream, but we got to get a solo for this. Now, What you're gonna see tomorrow is the car that I was able to get top 100 with. Well, actually, I, I moved down a couple levels now because people have played a lot since I played. But I was at level, or I was at number 94 with my Reventon. I want to see if I can get close to that or beat that with the Hurricane Performante. That is my goal here. So 144, 438 is what we're looking for, something like that. So let's see how the performante does. But not a problem, Rocco. You do the same, you do the same. Damn, look at that interior. <laughs> that looks so cool. Matches perfectly too with the carbon fiber on the exterior. Let me just make sure everything rewind off. I don't know why that's been on. Everything is good there. Now hopefully I can run this clean and not make any mistakes. So far, I feel like I'm a little bit slower. But there's plenty of race left. Plenty of race left. It all comes down to the one turn, if I can nail the one turn. It's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. Well, not too close. 
Not bad though, not bad for a first run. I ran that pretty clean. It's gonna be about a second or two off. But if I keep running that, I mean, it's less than two seconds first try. Not too bad, not too bad. I feel like I was a little bit slow in the beginning though. In the, in the beginning there, I gotta be a little bit quicker. But not bad, not bad. Considering it's still not 100% completed tune and considering I still don't have a perfect feel for the car, not bad at all. Not bad at all. That's what I like to hear though, Landon. That's what I like to hear. And Jack, I will show you in just a second to end off here. The Forza Thon shop is nothing too exciting this week. A kind of expensive car at the auto show and then a somewhat rare SUV. A somewhat rare SUV. But there is the Forza Thon shop. So I didn't have this car. It's 400 Forza Thon points, cost 2.6 million. You can sell at the auction house for like a million to a little bit under 2 million. This is a car that some people might not have, but it's just something that I don't care for, for too much. But uh, I really don't think there's any point in me sniping on Xbox, but sure, why not? Why not? I don't think I'll be able to be fast enough here, but you never know. You never know. We'll try it. We'll try it to end off the stream. We'll try for five minutes. So we're going to make it four minutes. 12 p.m. 12 p.m. We could actually do Forzathon live. <laughs> That's another thing we could have done, but I'm more worried about taking a look at this. Let's see if we see any. Some of you guys are saying you're seeing tons of them. These loading screens. You guys got to remember, too, I'm streaming right now. Like, my internet is really being used up. Like, I'll be lucky if I even get close to one of these. That's why I got to get off of here and go try. <laughs> But we'll see if we see any. I'm just here. I'm just really curious to see if I'll see any or not. Do these loading screens on Xbox? I'm telling you, they're literally like five times slower than PC. Like the time it takes me to search twice on here, I probably searched four times on my PC, on my laptop. It's ridiculous. And the thing is, though, if somebody wins one. You know, they can't win another one if they pop up pretty quick. And if you see two at once somehow, always make sure you go for the bottom one. Because that's the newest one. The other one somebody else is probably already on. These screens are slower right now than they usually are, too, on my Xbox, I swear. I swear to you. I haven't done this on Xbox in a while, either. It's been a long time since I've, like, had to be super quick on Xbox. But I like the Performante. It might not be the fastest car in the game, but it's definitely a good S1 car, and hopefully I'll be able to get a second one today so we can test it out for S2. Maybe maybe tonight we'll stream again. Maybe tonight we'll stream again. Test it out for some S2. So far, not even one has popped up. When I actually see one, I'm telling you, I'm going to be either reading the chat or falling asleep and not notice. <laughs> I'll miss it. No matter what, I'm not getting it, though. I, pr I can pretty much promise you I will not get it no matter what. My screens are so laggy, too. I don't know if you guys can tell, but they're, like, laggy as hell. Has anyone else gotten one of these? Has anyone else gotten one of these? Off the auction house, that is. How many of you viewers have the car, too, though? Just legitimately, 50% completion got one. God, I love that angle they're showing right now in the Forza Vista, though. Yeah, I mean, I could switch to the peel, but still won't make a difference. My screens are just going way too slow because I'm streaming and everything. Like, I, I've never seen it this slow. Well, I've probably seen it this slow at some point, but it's usually not this slow. Yeah, <laughs> that I do, that I do.
Yeah, but I'm not even gonna try rally or drag build for this thing. Like, it'll lose way too much grip and handling. Like, it feels perfect the way we have it right now. We just gotta tweak out the tuning a little bit yet, and she'll be really good to go. I mean, she feels great right now. I'm just surprised that, I mean, I know I hit the wall, but I feel like the regular Hurricane S1 is almost identical. So I wonder if the true purpose of this car being added into the game is S2. And yeah, I have that, I, I am all of that scar on my laptop for sure, but looks like, oh wait, I feel like there was one there. There was probably one there. That loading screen usually means that there's one trying to load in, but it's taken so long to load. So we never even saw it. And Alex, and instead of making like a sizable donation, why don't you just become like a bottom tier member that will probably keep you a member for many months to come that will equal the amount of your sizable donation. You know what I mean? Like there's no other way for me to initiate you as a member. Like other people have donated too and I can't just be like, oh yeah, they're a member because they donated. Like it doesn't work like that. You know what I mean? But just think about that. Just And you can cancel at any time, too. It's not like you're locked in for life. <laughs> like, if you want to become a member, you can become a member for a couple months and then cancel whenever you want. I hear you, Alex. I hear you. Alright, well, I'm about to give up here because this is so frustrating seeing how laggy and slow these screens are. And I've not even seen one yet. But we looked... We looked, and literally like two hours and 18 minutes ago, we unlocked the performante. Took us less than 20 minutes when we got on here. But she's a beauty. She is certainly a beauty. All right, I'm done. I give up. We're gonna try and get more though. I'm also gonna get some of these to give away to you guys. I promise you though, it will not be given away anytime soon if I am able to get more of these just because too many people are going to be looking right now, but I'll save them for like a week or two if I'm able to get them. And if anyone doesn't have the ability to get this car if you're away on vacation, whatever the case might be, this will be a car that I know people are going to want. It's certainly a very fun, beautiful car to have in Forza Horizon 4. And for all the people saying that it's just a reskin and all that, like, I'm telling you, man, it, it's the headlights are different. The front bumper is different. The wing on it is obviously unique. The exhaust and the rear bumper is different. Like, it's a different car, man. And it's so fun to drive. I wish they would have made the sounds a little bit different. Something else to make it unique. But, I mean, look at this beautiful thing. Come on now. Come on now. I'm doing fantastic, though, Pure Nukes. That is going to wrap it up for this stream, guys. Thank you so much for being a part of it. This was a pretty big day, I think, in Forza Horizon 4. Certainly one of the most requested cars in this game. The 2018 Uracan Performante, or the Pew Pew Monte, as I'm going to like to call it in the future. Thanks so much, guys, and hopefully, probably talk to you later about the Forzathon shop today. We're gonna go. We're gonna. I'm gonna head into my laptop right now, though. I want to certainly try to get more of these right now here today. So we'll see what happens. But there's a Discord link for Carlos if you want to become a member. I'm sure one of my moderators will pop that up here real quick as well. And Friday night and Saturday night potentially going to be auction house streams so make sure you guys tune in for those make sure you get your notification bells on so you don't miss them people always tell me they're missing the live streams where i give away auctions i mean there's nothing i can do about youtube's notifications but the best thing you can do put all those notifications on i obviously alert people in the discord again guys thank you for being here thank you for spending your thursday morning with me whether that was at work at school or if you luckily had a day off like i did here today but i'll talk to you again very soon guys thanks again peace out Monte.